Finally, the next iteration of Warnick 6.1 just arrived on the S24 Ultra. And why 6.1, guys? Well, honestly, this kind of looks like the Warnick 6.1.1, but technically the version is still 6.1. It is the security patch level from the 1st of August, but it's 3073 megabytes. And as you can see, the change log alone is just one of the biggest I've seen ever for a Samsung phone. And a lot of people are saying, listen, this is the One Yi 6.1.1 for the S24 series. Now, here on the S23 Ultra, I have the latest 6.1 again with the August patch security level update and guys remember i did a video a while ago with installing the home from the one x6.1 on my samsung galaxy s23 and s24 ultra and this really changed some things for the better for this test that is going to be an animation comparison i have reverted back to the final official one x6.1 home version how do we know this well this is the latest fun cut how do we know this well this is the latest version installed here it's the 1510375 and on the s24 ultra i'm already running the 155055 why well because i want to compare the animations and i want to have a phone that runs the latest one year 6.1 this is the s23 ultra and the s24 ultra running what people call the one year 6.1.1 technically it's not like this although a lot of these things really are coming from there well how do we know this it's very easy guys the moment you even open the menu for the s pen we have the sketch to image and this thing was only available in the one year 6.1 when the z flip 6 and also the z fold 6 were released and with this massive change lock there are pretty new things under the hood now galaxy ai is even more powerful and you can ask it to directly generate emails post you can see here social media comments using different types of behaviors and we do also have sketch to image in the photo editor so right now i can just go and draw myself a hat this only worked in the 186.1.1 so this is why the people are calling this update 6.1.1 but since officially it's reserved only for foldables here we are getting it under one UI. 6.1 and by the way i'm gonna make a whole new full video about all the new things under the hood in this update and focus on the camera a lot of people are saying that this is the patch that we should have released already in may for the s24 ultra now it's mid of september we got this instead of one ui 7 beta and the expectations for one ui 7 beta on android 15 are really through the roof but here we are one ui 6.1.1 compared with the one ui 6.1 because a lot of people are saying that this right now here is the smoothest version of the one ui 6.1 ever running on an s24 ultra phone and in this video this is exactly what i'm going to be testing so we're going to start from the very beginning always on display unlocking the phones the quick settings the navigation the menus the folder opening and closing the app animations opening and closing animations camera and all of this right you pretty much used if you have been watching my channel and if you are new to this channel and you really want to go deep inside the rabbit hole with things like this then you're more than welcome to support the channel thank you so much now let's buckle up and start a double tap will initiate the OS on display a double tap will now go back to the lock screen and this is going to be the transition I'm using the same exact wallpaper so that we are able to compare all the animations in the best possible way i do get a lot of requests about the wallpapers guys i'm using basically lunar and also wall rod so please check those out one more time and we're gonna get to the lock screen and then observe the transition between the lock screen and the always on display all right now guys let's enter very fast both phones absolutely flawless ultrasonic probably the best scanners out there so this is the home screen all right one swipe from here will reveal the quick settings i do love the menu i really hope that they will not change these drastically in the one ui7 swipe up like this swipe on the left will give me auto notifications as you can see there is no visible lock on both phones you can also watch this video in 60 fps if you're very keen to get a better understanding on the animations now let's click here the device control all right circle the same of course that's 24 ultra just a tad bit quicker 
Initially, when testing this yesterday, I thought that One UI 6.1.1 was a bit slower and hence looked smoother. Right now, when I'm doing this side by side, I have a feeling that it is circa the same. Everything looks the same. Also, please pay attention to the blur, the way the blur is applied. As again, I'm using the very same exact wallpaper to give you this comparison. Okay, same. Now let's go to the right, initiate the Google feed. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the home screen, back to the home screen. Here we have all my different widgets and the many apps that I use for playing and testing and all of that. Let's go up, okay, the up drawer. So far, no major differences, guys. One more time, up drawer, okay, searching for something and now going outside here and here. I also left this navigation helper here. By the way, also something that I saw yesterday. Finally, I do have now the Google Music search, not only on my S24 Ultra, but also on the S23 Ultra, which is kind of cool. Now that we're here, let's try to see what happens with the volume rocker. So volume rocker, circa the same, clicking on the dots. All right, no big changes in the speed. Pay attention to this. Some people were saying that these animations are slower, these are faster. Now here we are and we are doing this comparison. We can also check the way the blur is applied when we do it like this and it pretty much looks exactly the same, all right? Exactly the same. If I do it like this, you're gonna see it is absolutely the same. Let's check the recent applications. Funny it. Let's check the recent menu. All right, absolutely the same. Now, let's do folder opening. All right, looks like the same. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. By doing this here with you together in real time, I have a feeling that this is just a tiny bit faster, but it could be just micro timing, or it could be also the case that the old animations are like this and the new one are slowed down just by a tiny bit to get to the sweet point and feel really way smoother. Now, is it way smoother? I think it's too early to tell. And um, hence, what we're gonna do, guys, Let's close all the applications right now because I wanna open some apps for the first time together with you. Let's open Telegram. All right. Now going outside. All right, pay attention when I go outside how the sun here zooms in and out. One more time, scrolling outside. All right, I now for sure see that the zoom in and out effect seems to be different. Here, check, okay. And now let's do it here. And you can see like the whole wallpaper really zooming in way much more than this one. All right, for sure, I do believe that this is one of the first changes I'm able to observe. One more time here, okay, and one more time here. So on the S24 Ultra, it's either slower because it takes just more time to complete and they might also change scaling some other stuff, who knows? There is also the other thing that is very important with the new launcher here, right? Every time I touch an icon, right, it gets selected, you see? And we have this flashing in and out. And now with the regular One UI 6.1 home launcher, guys, this doesn't happen. So this was something also that was inherited from One UI 6.1.1, and finally it's here. So now let's go and open X, all right? Faster on the S24 Ultra. Let's go outside and again here, see, the way the background zooms out, it's just slower than here. One more time, pay attention. Way slower, guys. It almost feels like two, three split seconds, but hey, it is for sure slower. Now let's check what is gonna happen when I open some apps in the multi-screen split. So let's go for this combination. All right, those one I guess would be the same. I'm gonna click here, try to rotate it again. This one on the S24 Ultra just feels a tiny bit quicker. Now, let's go for something interesting. Let's open Instagram, all right, faster here. Why interesting, guys? Because you know all the time I'm using this and doing this says the moment I invoke the viewfinder, we drop the refresh rate from 120Hz to 60Hz, and yeah, sadly, this choppiness is still here. Now let's do this one more time to see, all right? Second time, I think it's a bit better on both phones. All right, one more time. I do believe that it works in the exact same way. Now, what about the camera animations? Let's open the camera. I'm gonna put the front camera. All right, front camera here. Let me choose the same resolution. Let's go to video. 
All right, let's go to photo again. Okay, pretty much works in the same way. Intelligent optimization settings for the photo camera are the same. I'm using the maximum quality and also the scene optimizer. Ultra white. All right, one. Let's go now and choose. Okay, three. Yep, three back to one. Three. I even have a feeling that the three is faster. Now let's go ten. All right, and back to the ultra white. And now go back to one and try to take some shots. Yeah, for sure the S24 Ultra has a faster shutter. But so far, so good, guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you really see any optimizations in terms of the animations and the interface in the One UI 6.1 that it's called the 6.1.1? My next test is to open apps and to try to see how quick I can close them. I'm gonna do this on the S23 Ultra, all right? You can see it's already very smooth on the S23 Ultra, but still no linear animations. Let's do this on the S24 Ultra, all right? Bad timing kind of feels the same I'm not sure feels the same and maybe just a tiny bit smoother so right now I can see some changes some positive changes but again it is not the holy grail in terms of optimizations and in terms of animations but now guys let's do some things that I usually do like sending pics over telegram and that I know can cause the phone to stutter I'm here at my save messages I'm gonna click the attach scenario and let's just try to attach photo that we just shot right now okay not a problem this time let's pick something else so i'm gonna pick this and this all right one more time i just want to do this and see how stable this is all right kind of stable on both phones now let's see what is going to happen when i'm opening fc mobile so that's a game okay fairly faster here now exiting the game and checking the animations. And now let's see how those phones will perform when I put them in a scenario like this. Yeah, yeah, still not so sweet. You can see even worse on the S23 Ultra. This animation needs to be optimized. It really lacks. The moment you get there though, I think it's quite okay. But oh boy, this isn't looking great. Else, what happens here when we open the gallery? Let's open the gallery, all right. Going outside, see, even in this landscape mode, guys, the animations are so much different just because of the way the wallpaper zooms in and out. I'm gonna try to do this simultaneously like this and then going outside. And you can see this really takes longer to just complete. So one of the biggest changes that I'm able to see right now is this. One final check I wanna do is here inside the settings. And I also wanna check the speed here. I pretty much get to the end of the menu and we have the same jumpiness. So guys, this is it. Let me know down below in the comments because I'm sure that you have discovered way more things that I did right now on this first run. Share it with all of us in the comments and stay safe. Thank you so much for watching. VST over and bye.